Not good. It's freezing over. Yeah, so instead of using butter, which I've done in this recipe before, I used oil. Or I'm using oil, I mean, as I need to. Yeah, typically we would use butter. Yeah, or you can use ghee. I've used ghee in this recipe and that's really good too. But you want it to be, if you've ever played with Play-Doh, you want it to be kind of like Play-Doh. So a little sticky, but formable while you're kneading it. Yeah. So this is feeling really good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil and then I'm gonna let it rise. Okay. So I just made a little well. David said, snow is gone in Michigan. Ooh. Yeah, not in Nebraska, just man. Just started here. I think the name is E. Lane. Thank you for the follow. Nanuki, thank you for the follow. We're looking for our first subscriber. Who? Wondering who it's gonna be. Hopefully one day we get a good subscriber who's interested in the recipes and just wanna tag along, be a part of the journey. Okay, this feels really good. So it's like moldable. It's a little sticky, but it's not sticking to me. So I know it's ready. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna, it looks different now. Yeah. The consistency is looking more of a I'm soft put it ball there. there. Grabbing a clean bowl. I usually wash my bowls out, but just to save time and spare you of all that, I'm gonna grab this amazing popcorn bowl. Popcorn, more popcorn, please. I'm gonna pour Hit oil in it. How much and oil? This, uh, a that's probably a tablespoon. Got it. I just don't want my bread to stick to it, so you wanna you wanna give it a generous amount of oil. Again, you can oil it with butter or ghee. Darzy, thank you for the follow. So Please like, good. share, and comment, and subscribe. Sounds just like YouTube now, but we're here. We're here on TikTok with you guys. So, and we'll have the full recipe posted for you guys if you go to our YouTube at Dessert Hound. And uh, goodbye. Covering that. <laughs> Covering that, we're gonna let it rise for about an hour. Okay. You need to put it in a warm place. So if your kitchen's not warm, find a warm room. Sometimes you can, I like to preheat my oven too on like 180 and then turn it off and ferment it in there. But we're cooking the cake, so. I'm yeah. just gonna let it sit in the kitchen. If your kitchen's cold, it might take longer, but so just peek on it, make sure it's doubled in size. Just to uh, recap, the sour cream cake mm -hmm. need we have it in there for about 35 minutes at 300 or 350? 350. 350, okay. And then the homemade baked bread here, mm -hmm. we need to let it rise for how long? About an hour. About an hour and then to bake it. To bake it, I'm going to oil this pan and then knead it just a little bit, put it in my pan, let it rise. I think we're gonna let it rise for about 15 minutes just so it gets, it's gonna rise in this and it will become a little bit fuller than the pan. Mm. And then we bake it. It looks like um, Turtle Saver 78 wants to know, is the towel damp? No, um, when I use damp towels, it gets stuck to it. So I've decided just to use dry towels and it works just fine. Okay, yeah. You and can, what is the purpose of the towel, by the way? The towel just locks in the moisture and the heat. You, want, you do want to lock in the moisture so it's nice to wet it down, but every time I've ever wet my towel down, my dough gets stuck to it and then I just have a big mess. So. Uh, it looks like Carol uh, Sabo 626 says she loves your sweater. Heart eyes. And then, yeah. So this is part one, guys. Uh, we will be back probably around 3, 3 o'clock. Yeah, 3.30 yep. maybe. And we'll show you the final process. All righty. Uh, so part one is finished. We've concluded. There's still 26 minutes left on the fresh baked bread. And then we are letting, or I'm sorry, on the cream cheese cake. And then the homemade bread needs to rise for an hour. And then later this evening, we'll come back to you guys. And uh, Tasmania Devil 500 says, you're so beautiful, which is great. Thank you for the compliments. Thank you, David. Thank you for, uh, following us thank you for uh being a part of the stream we'll be back we'll see you guys in uh, a couple hours mm -hmm. yeah see you soon bye. yep bye what is the name of this soup again
Sausage in it, is that right? Yeah. And what else? Tomatoes, bell peppers, onions, garlic. Nice. Garden soup. Very cool. Zucchini in there too. Zucchini in there as well. That's cool. Alright, so this is the finished product of the sour cream cake. And did you just take a batch of powdered sugar and how did you do that to the coat to the top of the cake? Yeah, I made a glaze. After I took it out of the oven and tried it, it reminded me of Duncan's sour cream donuts. So I made mm. a glaze, really simple glaze out of uh, one and a half cups of powdered sugar and three tablespoons of milk and vanilla extract. So this is the finished product here and it looks like it's going to taste really delish. All right, and then the fresh baked bread has arrived. It is, it's finished. We'll cut a slice. We already had a few people get into it. This is meal time, so yeah. fresh baked bread. So yes. can you tell us what the ingredients are one more time and could you butter it while you do? Well, I don't know the measurements offhand, but it was very easy to make. We made, um, we fermented the yeast, so we did yeast, sugar, and water. And then after that was done, we added flour, salt, and I think baking powder and more brown sugar, and then that was really it. We let it rise for an hour, punched it down, shaped it into the bread pan, let it rise another 30 minutes, wow. and then baked it. And there it is. It's very nice. And then uh, Condriff said, I would have added pecans. Now, I don't know if they were saying that about the dessert or the bread itself. I think pecans it would have- Pecans would be awesome, but this one I made so that we could dip it in our soup. We're yeah. Having some soup tonight, and yeah. we always like to have a like a bread to go with it. So this garden soup. Cool. The broth is made out of pureed vegetables, so it's very hearty, very healthy, awesome. satisfying. Yeah, and there's a lot of sausage um, in here as well. And then there it is, guys. The sour cream cake donut or cake. And they look delicious. So thanks for watching. We'll get back with you guys on another video once we do another recipe. This is part two of our recipes for today. And um, if you would like to see part one of this project, go to our YouTube, Dessert Hound, and you'll see in our videos from the very moment we put this puppy in the oven to where it is right now. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks.